Now that you've installed the Grammarly app, you can use it right on your computer. This what you're seeing here is the Grammarly app. It looks identical to the web interface, so once you learn one, you don't have to learn the other. There's a lot of different ways that you can use Grammarly. The first one is to be able to import a document that you've already been working on. The first step is to click the Import button. It's going to have you browse your computer to find something that you want to import or check. I'm going to browse my Google Drive. Find a paper that I like. Click Open. And it imports it right into Grammarly. You'll see in the bottom right, it's automatically checking my grammar and sentence structure to give me a score. It tells me how many words I have and what that score is. I have 27 critical issues and 95 advanced issues. If I want to get more detail on that, I can go ahead and go to the magic wand. We already have premium, so if we click upgrade to premium, it tells me a report of how my document is looking. I can see where my score is coming from. Word choice, wordy sentences, passive voice misuse. If I click the back button, I can see those errors right inside my paper itself. So as I scroll down, you'll see underlined, it will tell me what's wrong. So if I click here, it's going to tell me that this is wordy right here and how to change. I can say this is helpful or ignore it. If I'm using passive voice, I can click on that. It will give me definition of what a passive or active voice is. So I can make that change and know why I am making that change. Even more importantly is there is a plagiarism checker. So underneath our pencil here, we go down to the magnifying glass, click on on, and this now will check my paper for any plagiarism issues. So I can see here, it's 19% unoriginal. So if I'm going through a paper and I see that there's unoriginal text, I can look to see, is there going to be some sort of citation? And here it is. So I know that that is actually a quote and not necessarily unoriginal text. You can also turn on and off certain features. So if I don't need to know more about punctuation, I can turn that off and not have that be part of my overall score. For example, if I don't like the style option, I can turn that off. And now you can see my score has gone up because I no longer am using the style option. I can also look under vocabulary enhancement. These are going to be ways that I can use to diversify my writing. So if I'm using certain words over and over, and maybe I need to switch it up a bit, I can use this to enhance my vocabulary and give myself a little bit more variety in my paper. When I'm all said and done, I can export this. It's going to ask me where I want to export it to. It brings my edited document right into wherever I want, whether it's my desktop, my Google Drive, or a folder. Hit save, and now all those edits are saved in a new version for me. They're also saved in my repository, so if I go back to my Grammarly, you'll see my paper right here with my overall score and a download button, so I can export right from the screen. I can also search files and bring it right through that way. On the left-hand side, you'll also notice a profile button. This will be your way of adding personal words to your dictionary. So if you have an unusual name, like me, that is not typically inside your dictionary, I click Add, and now my name is known as a common noun that I'm using. It's not going to be flagged for misspellings. They know it's part of my personal dictionary. I can also look at American to British spellings, as well as I can get account information, things like changing my password or getting an idea of what email address I've signed up for. If I need more help, there's a tutorial that walks me through all the different things that Grammarly can do, whether it's editing text, exporting a document, or even getting document statistics. Underneath my document, I can download my report. So I have my score in the bottom right hand corner. I click on that score. It's going to tell me how I've done. So right here, I can see that plagiarism checking has been disabled. I can look at how I've confused my words, grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, and vocabulary enhancement.